our project wants to cope with the lack of affordable housing in Europe. Uh, I think no one can uh, deny that there is a housing crisis in France, but overall in Europe, housing prices are uh, rising a lot more than wages, so uh, a lot of families are uh, in fact in excluded from the cities, and uh, this uh, increases uh, urban sprawl and also has uh, negative impacts on the environment. We want people to have the opportunity to live in all the cities, even in the biggest cities and the more expensive cities, not only in the social housing, but also to have access to ownership in these big expensive cities. We have uh, created a new tool which is quite simple. It's to separate the uh, ownership of the land from the ownership of the building or the walls. We allow families uh, to buy only the walls of their home and not the lands. 89 families uh, who have bought, bought a, a, an affordable home in London, in Brussels and in Ghent uh, and of course in Lille, which are the four pilot cities of this European project. The community, of course, is one of the key elements in the community land trust model. All our uh, residents and, and, and uh, future residents are members of our uh, association and are represented in the board uh, together with the people representing the neighborhood and civil society and people representing the regional government. The network that is emerging uh, out of this, people working on community land trusts uh, in Europe start to know each other. Uh, there's a lot of exchange. We know who to call if we need uh, some information uh, about how it's done elsewhere. And these are things that are really uh, key for, uh, for helping us uh, build this movement of this new way of developing affordable housing by uh, and for the community.